Bueno, eh, buenas tardes, buenas tardes a, a todos. Bienvenidos a esta presentación del European Congress de ITS Europe. Eh, en primer lugar, pues agradecerles la, la asistencia a este, a este evento, que, que pretende ser también un poco como el pistoletazo de, de salida de esta de este congreso que vamos a celebrar el, los días del 2 al 4 de junio en el Palacio de Congresos y Exposiciones, en FIBE de, de Sevilla, y que acoge el congreso más importante en materia de, de movilidad a nivel europeo. Es un congreso que quiere poner en, en valor la implementación de la inteligencia artificial de todos los sistemas inteligentes del transporte, Intelligent Transport System, en, en una materia en una que eh, desde hace décadas pues, está teniendo una relevancia fundamental, ¿no? como, es la, como es la movilidad, la movilidad urbana, la movilidad interurbana y el transporte sostenible, el transporte inteligente y el transporte eficiente. Nos acompaña el CEO de Ertico, Mr. Jules Bantón, de ITS Euro, y don Luis Friseño, gerente de ITS España, también de proyectos. De proyectos. Eh, ta también contamos con la presencia de nuestra delegada de, de, de turismo, Angie Moreno, también la representante de la Dirección General de, de Tráfico, Ana Luz, presidente de, de, de ITS España, eh, el representante de Jaime Huerta y eh, Antonio Castaño como en representación de, de, de Contursa también. Y desde luego pues, también la, la bienvenida a los representantes de, de la industria, de, del sector de la movilidad en Sevilla, a la hostelería también, representantes de, de la hostelería, porque eh, hay que destacar que es un evento en el que se va a poner sobre la mesa las posibilidades de la pujante industria del turismo de Sevilla, de la industria también pujante de la hostelería y de los operadores en materia de, de movilidad, de, de transporte, de, también de, de señalizaciones y de la, la gestión de la movilidad en, en general. Sevilla como ciudad, como Ayuntamiento de Sevilla, con nuestro alcalde a la cabeza, con José Luis Zan, está haciendo un esfuerzo muy importante en, en llevar a cabo la modernización de todos los instrumentos de la gestión de la movilidad en, en Sevilla, que es, digamos, es como las, la, o sea, las vías de la movilidad, es las vías de circulación y de, de la ciudad. La vía de circulación también supone las vías por donde discurre la actividad económica de la ciudad. Por eso es tan importante también, no solamente para el transporte de los ciudadanos y la movilidad de los ciudadanos, sino también el transporte de los agentes económicos de, de la ciudad. Y en eso estamos implicados. Pues, sin más preámbulos, damos paso a la continuación de esta presentación, de este, de este evento. Tiene la palabra Mr. Jos Banton. Gracias, señor Moreno. Um... Queridos amigos de ITS, quiero agradecerles por la amable invitación a la oportunidad de estar con ustedes en nombre de Ertico ITS Europa. Mi español no es tan bueno, así que perdónme por continuar en inglés. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, first, thank you. Muchas gracias. I'm really honored on behalf of Ertico ITS Europe to be here. You have a wonderful city. I will come back, that is clear. This is great. This is nice sun. We have a very good hospitality from uh, from the colleagues of Contursa, the Office of the Tourism, the colleagues of the City Council. I was just with the mayor as well um, in the central place and a very good cooperation with our colleagues and friends of DGT as well in Madrid and Andalusia and my friends of ITS Spain. So thank you, Jose, for, uh, for inviting us here. Um, I will go through the slides that present a bit ITS, what is ITS Europe doing where are we what are we doing um there is a part of my team in brussels and also in somewhere else so they can chip in also in the presentation if you have any questions please raise your hands afterwards happy to take any questions and answers and Luis from ITS spain will also complete on the presentation if i'm talking too quickly in in english please raise your hands um translations you can check with your colleagues um first 
I'm very honored to present to you what is Ertico. We are a public-private association organization established in 1991, so a long time ago, by the European institutions, the European Commission at that time, Mr. Jacques Delors, who was the, the French uh, president of the European Commission, with industry leaders, public and private. And you were part of that uh, journey. We are focusing on innovation, on transport and mobility. So actually, more specifically, on intelligent transport systems, which means bringing innovation, intelligence, connectivity into the ecosystem. Like what I saw here with the trams, the traffic lights, the tolling zones, uh, you're doing great. And we research, we did a lot of research and now we want to deploy, make it happen, like you do in Sevilla and other cities here in, in Andalusia. It's actually eight sectors that we unite with 120 members. Um, the eight sectors you see on the screen, um, the traffic and transport industry, these are quite a lot of players that are providing the smart signals. So traffic lights, lane markings, building the road infrastructure, but also going into the digitalization of all this. The connectivity industry next to the traffic and transport industry is the mobile network operators. So those who are actually connecting the instruments, it can be vehicles, it can be smart assets, traffic lights, infrastructure from the railway and everything else. So connectivity is also about data, is about artificial intelligence, I don't have to explain you this, and about 5G and even 6G, but also short-range communication like DSRC and ITS G5, for example. Yeah. The service providers is a big category. That's a category of the traditional map makers. So those companies who are producing um, digital maps for going from point A to point B, but that's not enough. We need more of these things working together. Real-time traffic information, national access points. You all know the ITS directive with new obligations. They are making it happen in the service providers. Research is a big sector. Um, a lot of Spanish research companies as well and famous companies and institutions and universities. These are the brains, I have to say, and they are making it happen for tomorrow and after tomorrow. Obviously, we cannot live without users. And users is, of course, like RACC or RAC in Spain, but many others. We also have the electromobility users. So those who are active in the charging um, stations, charging facilities, charging points, um, and also connectivity with the electric vehicles in the future. Public authorities, very happy to have DGT as an established member in a lot of working groups and platforms. Thank you for that, Analus and the team of uh, Ala Blanco in Madrid and also a lot of ministries, regions, cities, and regulators. So these are the public authorities. Vehicle manufacturers, I don't think I have to explain what it is. It's the OEMs, as we say, and then the suppliers to the vehicle business. So basically, all these members work together for one goal, is bringing innovation in transport and mobility in all kinds of aspects. Um, and these sectors are being united, like ITS Spain, um, into Spain here. We do it from the European angle into various working groups, various governance boards, and actually making them talk to each other because they didn't talk to each other a long time ago, and now they do. They have to work together to make things more digital, but also more automated. Automated driving, autonomous driving, like we've seen in San Francisco with the robot taxis, for example. We are actually discussing now with the European Commission how to regulate automated valet parking or robot taxis for cities, for example. This is basically what you do in ITS Spain with DGT and many other colleagues and all of you. It's connecting the dots, as I say in Ertigo, it's connecting this ecosystem from vehicles to roads, from roads to micromobility. So we have now the micromobility players in Ertigo as well, which is the cycling industry, biking industry. Yeah, um, This, of course, doesn't work without data access to data, data sharing, ITS directive, but also the new data act. All these things are being interconnected thanks to all the work we do. And obviously artificial intelligence is only one step because with data, you can do a lot of things, but you need to make it smarter and more convenient. And that's also what we do with the Mass Alliance. The Mass Alliance is a European a worldwide alliance that we have started a couple of years ago to make things happen, to go from a single journey for the consumer from traveling from one point to another point, taking three or four different transport modes. It can be an electric bike, can be a motorcycle, can be a shared vehicle, but can also be the tram, train, bus. All this needs to glue together. So we need to give access to each other's data and to have one united app, single app, without having a new monopoly. Easier said than done. Um, there's a 
public transport operators, there's a private industry, and we want to make them working together. That's actually what we do with the mass alliance. This cannot be done without any cooperation. We do it also very actively with the national organizations. They are associated with Ertico and actually very pleased to work a good relationship with our, we call them ITS nationals, like ITS Spain here on the left side with the arrow that we've put, so you see it. And all countries, I think 30 of them, 30 uh, have um, their own national association with whom we work really together because we need to work together. It's not making it happen if we don't work together with them on very concrete things. Um, this brings me to the Congresses, um, a unique, I would say a unique um, showcase that we want to do with our industry is to show to the people what is ITS, how to make it tangible, how to show it real time and tangible. And that is done through European Congresses and World Congresses. I'm responsible for ITS Europe and Middle East and Africa. That's why we have the World Congress in Dubai in September. So very pleased to have uh, all of you there and DGT and ITS Spain and all the good friends and also the city of Sevilla. And actually, you will be in some of the panels, Jose, uh, as well. And um, that's the World Congress. So we unite ITS America, ITS Asia Pacific, and my own Ertico. And that is different. That's typically a World Congress to showcase worldwide innovations, worldwide, I would say, technologies. Yeah. Next to that, we have European Congresses. And this is really the flagship that I want to show with all of you in Sevilla next year, in June, actually, this month, next year. Um, and this will be the first week of June um, in Sevilla. You have been selected as the candidate city and you won the contest. You got uh, quite some competition, but you did a very nice bit, a very nice proposal that we have taken into consideration with our supervisory board and the selection committee. Um, we are really happy with the contract that we signed finally a couple of, not so long ago, and we now make it happen. I really want to make it happen with the Madrid people, with the people in Andalusia, and with the people here of the city and ITS Spain. These congresses are unique. I don't know if you have attended such congresses. Last year, we got a congress in Lisbon, and an OCV was there with the stand. Uh, the year before, we were in Toulouse, and then the year before, we had Hamburg, so the Germany, Hamburg, the World Congress. Next year, after CV, will be Istanbul for the European Congress, and then a year after will be the World Congress again. Uh, that's Birmingham organizing it. So the uniqueness of the Congress is, is not only an exhibition. It is really um, putting people together with sessions. So academic sessions, practical sessions, universities, they submit papers. So really bright people put papers forward. They put people together into panels and discussion fora to make ITS even more growing. And it can be topics like smart mobility, electrification, data sharing, artificial intelligence, hyperloops, uh, robot taxis, robot taxis, but also drones, for example, air mobility, urban air mobility or aerial services. So all these things, or we, we will showcase this in Sevilla next year as well. Now, going to the European Congress, um, this is the graph of the number of attendees. It's growing. You can see that is people are really interested. And as I mentioned, it is an exhibition. It is a place to meet and greet. It is complemented by a lot of sessions, so academic and insightful sessions, more or less 150 or 200, it depends. Um, and also, of course, the networking with an excellent VIP dinner and gala dinner also. And every day there is something. It's uh, three days in a row um, in a very populated area with, with nice people. These are the key pillars that we have cocktailed for you also for Sevier. High-level program, mostly European commissioners, um, ministers, mayors, um, and also, of course, the local community. The technical program, as we say, is usually the sessions, the academic sessions, the special interest sessions, the paper sessions. There are more or less 150 or 200. The exhibition itself, of course, in FIBES, which we will do, and a lot of demonstrations just outside FIBES. I'm also very happy to, to be there with Contursa because I was there last year with the Urban Mobility Days with the DG Move of the European Commission and Commissioner Valéan was here as well to sign the declaration on, on cycling. Um, it's a unique place, it's a very good place, um, a bit further away from the city but well, very well connected and it's good that we have also access to the, to the nice demonstration area where we got a real tangible demonstration of ITS, what it is. Yeah. This is the typical program highlights that we have with the high-level program, as I mentioned. We usually have the first day starting with the summit. 
For example, in Dubai, we have the summit on the future of mobility, gathering worldwide ministers, mayors and, and uh, other high levels to talk about indicators. What is smart mobility and sustainable mobility? How does it work? How far are we doing in terms of electrification? We will showcase this in CV with very topical subjects. And actually this week we have the European Programme Committee on Friday. I know some of you will be there to discuss the topics of interest for our Congress in CV. All this will be um, on our website. It starts to be populated. populated. My team is doing the best to put more info on that one. But again, thanks for your interest on that one. And uh, I think we have a small movie uh, to showcase your own city here. I don't know if it works. ITS is an, an excellent opportunity really to meet all the ITS community, all the friends, to learn about the progress that they have done, also to showcase what we have done and we are finding new business opportunities. ITS Europe Congress is a fantastic place to be because it brings together all these different uh, stakeholders, those who are working in companies, those who are uh, responsible in cities or member states in the union. Muchas gracias. Thank you for the video. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sí. Thank you, Mr. Jos. Eh, de la continuación, toma la palabra el eh, señor Don Luis Briseño, gerente de proyectos de ITS. ITS España. Sí, bueno. Buenos días, muchísimas gracias por asistir a este Open Day. Y muy bien, bueno, yo soy Luis Briseño y esta presentación la voy a hacer tanto en español como en inglés, porque evidentemente tengo un público, el público local acá, acá presente, pero bueno, tenemos personas de Europa que nos están escuchando y por eso también eh, algunas láminas, voy, voy a presentarla en inglés también. So, I'm Luis Bericeno. Uh, I'm the Marketing and Partnership Manager at ITS Spain. Uh, all of you in Spain, of course, know very well uh, ITS in Spain, but for the rest of the country, I'm going to resume it a little bit what means uh, ITS Spain in, for the ITS sector. ITS Spain established since 2003. We have more than uh, 100 partners, partners. There is a mix between authorities, operators, and companies on the sector. We have organized 24 national congresses. Uh, we are collaborating with Europe uh, projects like uh, Sea Roads, e calls, Data Hub, and TESC. Um, of course, we have a strong ties of collaboration with uh, ITS Iberoamerica. And one of important pillar is training. And we have a tre tremendous program uh, of ITS, mobility data, mass, and, mo and mobility management. So, eh, ahora voy a hablar un poco sobre las oportunidades comerciales que ofrece el Congreso que básicamente está alineada en dos áreas, ¿vale? Eh, como dijo Josh, el Congreso 
Estamos hablando de la decimosexta edición del Congreso Europeo y es un congreso que tiene cierta historia y cierta trayectoria. Por ende, una de las cosas que vamos a observar en el Congreso y el por qué es tan importante es que tiene un fantástico nivel de los, va a tener un fantástico nivel de las personas más influyentes del sector, tanto a nivel local, a nivel regional, nacional, por supuesto a nivel europeo. Es un punto importantísimo. Y lo otro, que a nivel de los espacios, se van a ofrecer espacios para las entidades en las que, la que van a poder conversar al respecto, llevar un mensaje en particular, y además que desde el punto de vista de marca, para aquellas compañías que quieran aumentar su visibilidad de marca, evidentemente van a tener múltiples opciones eh, para ello. So, the event has a rich history and offers organizations a fantastic level of access to influencing industry leader opportunity to offer thought leadership and on parallel unique branding opportunities to support uh, brand positioning. El, cuando vean el, el, el folleto completo, básicamente el estilo que van a ver es un estilo a la carta. Simplemente... Vamos a ver si aquí... No. Simplemente lo que van a ver, el estilo de la carta, van a poder seleccionar de acuerdo a las metas, a la ambición o los objetivos que quedan cada una de las compañías. Y básicamente van a tener tres secciones. La sección de registro, la sección de branding y, y, la, parte, y la parte social. E igualmente la parte de thought leadership, que es básicamente el espacio que se le ofrece para hablar, que es una gran oportunidad para realmente poder establecer un liderazgo en algún mensaje en particular. So, the brochure style of opportunity for a prospective partner is a la carte. Therefore, organizations can pick and choose benefits that meet their objective and take a more tolerate approach to your participation. So, later, I'm going to share a Q QR code. Uno... Ya nosotros, bueno, eh, el, el primer punto a la carta, evidentemente, está, está relacionado con el registro. Las compañías o las entidades van a tener acceso al full, al, al full delegate passes con descuentos, ¿vale? Y otro punto importante para aquellas compañías que realmente quieran compartir y establecer conexiones, porque hay que tomar en cuenta que vamos a tener entidades, eh, autoridades, y entidades de toda parte de, de, de Europa, incluso del mundo en general, tienen disponibles dos grandes eventos. Y para ellos tenemos la cena de gala y la cena VIP. So, the card, the card option offers the ability to purchase discounted full Congress delegate passes. Partners who wish to network and for connections can also purchase social functions tickets in our special dinners eh, like VIP or gala dinner. Eh, a, nivel, a nivel de branding, la verdad que el potencial es, es muy, muy, muy alto. Tenemos, tienen el potencial para buscar visibilidad en lo que tiene que ver en la recepción, en el área de registro, el coffee car, los lanyards, el wifi. Hay, hay muchísimos lugares dentro, dentro, de, dentro del Congreso, dentro de FIBE, donde van a poder exhibir su marca también. Y evidentemente también en la, parte, en la parte social, en lo que es la, la cena de gala, en donde, hay, este, donde ya están escogidos dos lugares espectaculares. Y también las compañías van a tener exclusividad en alguna de estas áreas. If you wish to amplify your brand to the European ITS community, there are multiple exclusive branding opportunities available, such as the coffee car sponsorship, o the registration area. El siguiente punto de la carta en la que tienen oportunidad de elegir está relacionado con el thought leadership, ya que hay, aquí hay básicamente cuatro grandes espacios donde las compañías van a poder resaltar un poco el liderazgo a nivel de mensaje que tienen en algunos sectores en particular. El primero de ellos, de la que quiero conversar un poco, viene dado con el comercial, con el comercial eh, eh, sessions, porque para aquellas compañías que, por ejemplo, tengan una historia de éxito, un caso, 
un caso de estudio que pueda estar relacionado con un producto, por ejemplo, o puede estar relacionado con un servicio o relacionado con alguna solución en particular, esas compañías pueden someter un paper y si ese paper es aceptado, tienen la oportunidad de presentarlo en el área de exhibición por unos 30 minutos o una hora. Es una gran oportunidad y la verdad que el fee para ello es un fee bastante, bastante bajo. Las otras áreas que disponemos están relacionadas con la parte plenaria. Eh, tenemos algunas áreas selectas ¿vale? en nuestro programa de alto nivel que se va a llevar a cabo en el auditorio. Y eso va a ser, va a ser, va a ser durante la mañana. Entonces, para aquellas entidades donde quieran que sus eh, business leaders, donde quieran que los policy makers, eh, aquellos investigadores de renombre que lo tenemos, o aquellos incluso académicos de renombre, tienen la oportunidad de, partici de participar, bien sea o en la apertura, que es lo que llamamos el plenary keynote, o pueden tener un asiento también como panelista, que es el, el plenary panelist. Entonces, tienen estos grandes espacios en los que pueden este, realmente eh, aprovecharlo. Y por último, ya nosotros sabemos que lo que es la ceremonia, la ceremonia tanto de apertura como de, como de cierre, siempre ofrece un espacio diferente, es un espacio emocionante, espacios memorables, y también este espacio está disponible para aquellos CEO o líderes resaltantes de alguna entidad particular, también van, pueden tener una posición dentro de la mesa de discusión. Entonces, desde el punto de vista de Thought Leadership, Thought Leadership is always important for all partners of the ITS European Congress. For partners that have a success, success story or case study, perhaps relating to a new product, service, or solution, there will be the opportunity to submit a commercial paper. If accepted for a small fee, the partner can present for 30 minutes or one hour on the exhibition stage. The second, the second part is related to the plenary, plenary sessions. We will also have a select few positions available in our high-level program, which will take place in the auditorium. This will be our famous and traditionally very well-attended uh, Congress plenary sessions, where business leaders, policymakers, leading researchers, academics, speak either in the keynote or a seat on the plenary panel. This takes place in the morning and set a very high tone for the breakout and smaller technical sessions. So related to the opening and closing ceremonies, we know that are always exciting and memorable. There will be opportunity for partners who may wish to have their CEO or leadership showcase expertise to have a seat on the on one of the panel's uh, discussion groups for either event. This will either set the tone for the Congress or provide a thought-provoking and motivating wrap-up. Y ya básicamente cuando cada una de las entidades ya hayan seleccionado a la carta aquello a lo que consideren importante, se le va a seleccionar o se le va a asignar un nivel de patrocinio. Y este nivel de patrocinio puede estar desde un nivel general, que es el más bajo, hasta el, hasta el nivel premier. Pero lo más interesante de ello es que una vez que se le ha accionado, que se, que se le ha asignado este nivel de patrocinio, va a recibir beneficios adicionales eh, al, al respecto. Eh, once organizations have picked from the a la carte, they will, they will then be assigned a level of sponsorship and additional free of chairs benefit that are included as a package with the respective level. Esto es todo lo que está relacionado a cómo ser socio de este congreso. La siguiente parte es un área interesante porque viene dado con el área de, de exhibición. Y ya sabemos que durante el Congreso de, de Lisboa, en el año, hace, hace dos años atrás, 
la verdad es que el área de exhibición fue bastante exitosa. Y esta vez lo que va a ofrecer, lo que estamos ofreciendo es un área mucho más grande para poder realmente cubrir eh, la, la demanda que hubo el año, el año pasado. Y además que eh, tenemos cosas interesantes. Primero, todo lo que tiene que ver con el coffee breaks y el catering se va a dar en el área de exhibición. Como conversé anteriormente, toda la parte de la sesión comercial también se va a dar en el área de conversión, en el área de exhibición, como la ven aquí, aquí en el medio. Toda la parte de entrevistas con medios también va a ser en el área de exhibición. Entonces, el área de exhibición va a ser un área muy vibrante, muy vibrante, donde las personas interesadas siempre van a estar rondando por el tipo y creo que es una gran oportunidad para las entidades para que puedan establecer contacto y generar, por supuesto, posibles clientes potenciales. So the exhibition uh, area is always vibrant, fun and full of innovation. Um, this, uh, given the success of Lisbon, the exhibition space for Seville will be even larger. All catering and breaks will, will take place in the exhibition. Commercial paper session will take place uh, also here. And the media interview will also take place here. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, we really think that this exhibition area will really generate leads and demonstrate Uh, uh, will, will really generate lead for, for the company. Entonces, eh, ahora que nos está escuchando el equipo de Ertico, que está detro, de, detrás de todo ello, como es Jerome, Ricardo, mi persona también, y el equipo de, de Contursa, y este es el email para atender cualquier, cualquier duda, el uecongress.mail.ertico.com donde nosotros muy gustosamente le, le atenderemos para que las compañías realmente puedan aprovechar al máximo eh, los objetivos que tengan en función a este, a este congreso. So, if you are interested in the exhibition space, please get in contact with the Artico team, who can guide you through options and pricing. Uh, there will be a live digital floor plan added in the Sevilla website where reservation can be, can be made. Eh, algo importante es que evidentemente más allá del número de, de participantes que pudiese tener el Congreso o el número de socios que pudiese tener el Congreso, hay algo que es mucho más, valo más valioso para nosotros y realmente ha sido el éxito del Congreso Europeo es que realmente para aquellas entidades que participan y para aquellas personas, el Congreso Europeo ofrece valor para las compañías y genera este, muchísima, muchísimas oportunidades. Y ese es el éxito realmente del Congreso Europeo. The Congress is only a success when the industry not only support and participate, but also when they find value and create opportunity. This is why the Congress, years on year, has been a success. And I want to add something, something more, uh, because uh, George has experimented that here. Uh, you know why really, apart from the technical uh, situation, you should be here next year, because Sevilla has a unique atmosphere. Maybe in Spanish it sounds totally different because there is a special song here in Sevilla that says Sevilla tiene un color especial. Y por eso pueden estar acá en Sevilla, están cordialmente invitados aquí en Sevilla el próximo, el próximo año. Y como les dije a continuación, y aquí tenemos el QR donde pueden descargar el folleto completo y está el equipo de Ertico para atender todas las dudas al respecto. Gracias. Pues muchas gracias, Luis, por tu, in, por tu intervención. Pues, si os parece, pasamos ahora a la presentación como host local en, en inglés. 
eh, antes la presentación un poco en español y la voy a hacer ahora en, en inglés, ¿no? Voy a, voy a leer el, el texto. The City of Seville will host the 16 European Congress on Intelligent Transport System and Services by Ertico ITS Europe. The Congress is scheduled for June 2nd to 4th, 2025 at the Fibes Congress Palace. We will have the participation of the three administrations, the central government with the Ministry of Transport and the Traffic General Direction, and the Junta de Andalucía, the regional government, and the City Council of Seville. This Congress aims to highlight the importance of intelligence transport systems, ITS, in the development of future mobility of cities and regions, within the responsibility of raising awareness and promoting to improve the quality of life of citizens in the relationship with intermodality in urban and interurban transport. We want to bet on promoting research, innovation and development in all thematic areas involved such as means and moves of transport, infrastructures, planning, economy, ITS, data, operation, management, logistic, modeling and simulation, security, sustainability, traffic, training, and of course, artificial intelligence. The event, therefore, will be an ideal forum to promote cooperation between public administrations and industry actors, where participants can discuss ideas and initiatives while working to implement them. The civil city government will continue to take a leadership role in conjunction with public administration, public and private transport operators, infrastructure administrators, and other partners in working together to make mobility efficient, sustainable, and accessible for all. For all this, it has been considered an exceptional opportunity for the city of Seville and, of course, for Andalusia and Spain, since it brings together in all the agents participating in intelligent transport in Europe, providing a boost to the initiative and commitments in this matter. The Congress will include 23 cities of the European Commission, more than 70 countries, and it is estimated that there will be more than 3,500 experts in the field who will support the development of intelligent transportation solutions around safety, efficiency, cleanliness, and cooperative mobility in the European Union. The innovation of the public and private sector of the digitalization of transport, the use of tools such as artificial intelligence with increasingly connected transport within smart cities res responds both to sustainability and optimization criteria as well as fishing resource management. Seville, and in particular its Department for Mobility, work on promoting a solution that made mobility efficient sustainable and accessible for everyone. Their commitment to sustainable mobility features a combination of infrastructure projects and use of intelligence transport system. It will allow mobility as a service mass solutions that add more efficient while keeping the focus on the user. As part of this, when considering available transport system options, decarbonizes public trans is a priority. Such transform may take the form of develop, developing new tram lines, creating reserve platform for bus rapid transit and efficient conventional bus lines, or promote the development and construction of the metro network. All of these efforts will help create a variety of transport options and improve connectivity in the metropolitan area. San Bernardo and Santa Justra transit hubs in Seville are prime examples of this sort of development. Seville itself puts its commitment to active mobility in action through policies that create safe areas for people traveling on foot, such as turning a street into pedestrian zones and implementing traffic, traffic calming measures. 
Additionally, Seville is a European leader in urban bicycle use, boasting a throw, th throughout biking network that lets riders travel throughout the city. Likewise, we should, we should emphasize that intelligent transport systems are necessary to tackle challenges in developing the mobility of the future. A major current project of the Civil Transit Authority, Tucson, and the, mobility, and the Department of Mobility of the City Council of Seville. I would like, I would like to finish by indicating the commitment of Seville and in particular the Department of Mobility of the City of Seville. We work with the following smart city ITS technologies. Low emissions zone, automatic vehicle access control system to the Cartuja low emissions zone. Fully operational system. A total of 22 checkpoints with license plate recognition cameras and traffic surveillance cameras. They allow you to automatically obtain data on the vehicles that enter and leave the premises. Number of vehicles, license plate, environmental cataloging, type of vehicles, as well as view the access cameras in real time. Access control cameras to the historic center and Triana. A total of 65 checkpoints with license plate recognition cameras and traffic surveillance cameras. It allows the traffic inside the historic center to be characterized and possible sectorization measures to be studied. Real-time parking occupancy data. Variable messaging panels app. An important part of the city's public car pass offer real-time data on their occupancy. This information is displayed in real time of 40 variable messaging panels instead of the city's main roads. Likewise, the information is provided through a, a mobility app where information on the state of the city's traffic is also displayed and where the 19 specific traffic cameras can be viewed in real time. A static image refresh every minute. Gorgeous using artificial vision cameras. The city has a total of 400 optical detectors, virtual loop gauges, that offer information on the traffic that circulates on the main roads on the city, which, which is used to improve and optimize traffic light coordination on main roads. Portable artificial vision gauges. The delegation has two portable artificial vision gauges that allow the study and measurement of vehicles through the analysis of videos obtained by, by any of the traffic cameras, both real-time videos and recorded videos. Photos sanctioned in the traffic lights. There are currently nine photo system units installed in the city. The system provides complete videographic evidence which facilitate the procession of sanction. Use of triggers or main traffic routes. Through the use of data from artificial vision gauges, Automatic actions are carried out to adapt traffic light times to traffic conditions, thus improving circulation capacity on main roads. Unified centralization system for traffic light regulators. The city has a unified centralization system for traffic light regulators, which allows the integration of regulators from different manufacturers. This results in better road coordination. Finally, I want to encourage participate to join the Dubai World Congress with ITS Spain, since we will have an stand, a stand to represent the local sector. It will, it, will be, it, it, will, it will be a great opportunity. Thank you very much. Yes. Bueno, pues. Hemos en principio por concluido el, el evento. El evento. Muchas gracias.